There are a lot of things scary in this world. Also, music has tried to picture it all. You know, dark ambient albums with scary, spooky noise, and industrial albums that is scary, mechanical, urban noise, and you know, we have stuff like black noise, uh, horrorcore, black metal. But in my humble opinion, you don't need the scary spooky noise or religious paraphernalia to make a song scary. The only thing that you need is the deeds of the common man. Slow, Deep and Hard, which is a title that I think refers to what the appointments to the dentist are like. You know, it's very scary. And it's a fun record. What does this record do? This record blends the line between pain and satisfaction. Anger turns into self-pity, cynicism turns into misanthropy, resentment turns into violence, and schadenfreude turns into sadism. How does the record exactly do things like this? I guess with songs that have lyrics like You STUPID TWAT! It's a bit of a hard sell, but the thing is that this album is honest about its feelings. It's a very honest record, so you can feel the revenge, power fantasy in your own skin. And I know because I have gone through the power rage fantasies a lot in the past too. I have felt what they're like. And what does the record doesn't do, what it doesn't say is, is that revenge power fantasies are stupid or bad and you should be good. But it's more like, I'm a man, but it still hurts. And the record gives you a right to the euphoric height that comes from your own pain and uh, sadness. But see what I mean, see what I mean? The euphoric high from pain. When rage filled euphoria is the only thing that can help you cope with the pain, you know you're cooked. But the album doesn't judge the experience or the thoughts, the album just gives you the ride. And that's exactly what hell feels like, when pain has infested your whole being and happiness comes from inflicting more <coughs> pain to others, this record is not like, ah, pain here in the shadows and with all the demons. If you, if you say something like that, it's because at least you have some self-awareness left. So you still have a little bit of your soul, not all of your soul, but you still have a part of your soul left. But the slow deep and hard doesn't have that, it's blinded by the destructive nature of its own emotions. And you know, the lyrics, the lyrics c can be kind, kinda clever sometimes, you see like in prelude to agony, well, let's, um, I'm, I mean, I, 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 I mean, I, 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 oh my, I, no, oh my, uh, 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 oh my god, <laughs> uh, did I tell you how much I like the keyboards in this album? Yeah, the keyboards, the keyboards, the, the, the keyboards are what divide this band from your average crossover trash metal band and greatness. And they feel very gothic. They feel like, okay, anything that sounds like church five metal organs is going to sound amazing for me, but the sections in this album that are more slow, like like doom, doom metal, the keyboards give it this huge atmosphere. And, and makes me think, and it makes me think that the line between heaven and hell is a talented keyboardist, keyboardist. No? No? It's, it's not as clever as I thought it was? No? Okay. And some people say that the slow, impossible, liar, doom metal sections don't mess with the fast and doom metal section of trance metal. And the truth is, these two sounds are different sides of the same coin, my friend. The spooky, fun music and the macho, muy macho, hyper gross music, they all come from the same source at the end of the day, right? And I'm not talking about how Black Sabbath is the beginning of all metal, but they come from the same emotional place. It's, it's one of it's one of the th it's one of the things that this album is truly aware about. Both grandiose, evil planning and impulsive ire, they come from the same place. Uh, you know how many how many metal albums have been less self-aware about the nature of their own music? N not that many, right? And this thing. This album takes those two extremes of metal and rules hand with them. Because it knows, it knows that it's so phony baloney at the end of the day. 
And why do they record do this? Why would you record an album like this at all? Well, some people treat fiction like something completely different from reality. And while it is fiction, they say, well, who cares? It's fiction. But that's not the way that it works for me. Fiction has no limits, but it doesn't mean that you shouldn't disregard everything that happens on it. You listen to this record, you enjoy it. You enjoy the pain. You enjoy the pain, yet you inflict others. You enjoy the pain, then inflict yourself. You turn into a full monster, like when the record ends, you say... It is in me the possibly to become... This. It is in me the possibility to bring pain into this world. If I don't take care of my spirit, I will inflict pain. And that's where the fear comes from. Because you realize that what you have inside, it, it can be monstrous and how awful you can be. This is why, this is why, this is one of the scariest records ever made. Because you are scared of not anything fantastical or a fictional concept or someone with a powerful gun or of a raging politics that are outside of your own reach. You, you aren't really scared of other people that you just can't avoid or run away from. You're afraid of your own self and the darkness that creeps within. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, that would never happen to me because I'm a good person. And good people don't turn bad. Well, you're a fool. You're an absolute fool. You, you, you that don't recognize the nature of the human experience. You that don't cultivate your spirit into kindness. Go ahead. Go ahead. Keep levitating from your high horse of ignorance. But because you are levitating, you, you think you can levitate forever, the day that you will try to cross a bit, you will fall. You will miserably fall, and that day I will laugh. I will laugh because you don't recognize what you truly are, you pathetic piece of shit! I'm sorry, I'm letting myself get carried away. It was just a bit, it was just a bit. <laughs> Ta-da! Uh, and this is why uh, this is why this is a great record. It is a great record. I know, I know, yeah, I know it has some maybe uh, um, kind of um, um, okay, okay. Um, oh my god! Um, shouldn't we be doing something about the guy who made this? Perhaps we should be taking care of making sure he doesn't. Never mind. As I was saying, it was a great record. I rated. Um, Dante's Hell, that's, I like the Dante's Hell allegory, but it feels like too much on the nose, too, too on the nose, right? I rated a thistle. Yeah, thistle fits. Damn, what a packed album. I like to see it as a coming of age album, because I have been listening to coming of age albums, and it's those albums that always feel so emotionally packed and layered. You know, Simon's Dream, Melancholy, on the downward spiral. I feel that this album is actually quite similar to the downward spiral, although I guess that the downward spiral is more about the illusion of power you get when you feel you have nothing to lose. But they also deal, they these both albums deal with the self-destructive nature of the emotion-infested mind. The thing is that the downward spiral doesn't feel like an album of excess, so I hate it. I mean, it's, it's not that it's more commercial, that's not the thing, is that sometimes I have to play the Becoming thrice or Frights to, to get my fix, and all the songs deal with only one emotion at a time. The only song that felt truly emotionally layered was the title track, the title track. Uh, that track, I can say it is genius, but the rest just feels like listening to, to sand paper, like paper going through your teeth. I don't like it sound. I, I don't like it sound. I don't like how it sounds. It's, I don't like the downward part. I'm sorry. Just no. And that's it. So goodbye, my friends. Stay safe. Stay safe of yourselves, I guess. Uh, so goodbye. Bye now. Bye.